We're back to work on our back 20 project we've been working on. We got the Bermuda grass. It's coming up pretty good. Now we got to get a fence going. So we finished out. This is the back side of the other property. We finished building our fence back that we'd torn out so we could get the bulldozers and everything back up in here. Got us some gates set up. Uh, so this is gonna be a corner here. We've got one post set out here. So we're just gonna run the fence on up this property line here, go on down, back around, work our way back and finish up on this corner here. We just went and got us a bundle, two bundles of wooden posts. We're heading back over here to the back 20 acres where we're gonna build our fence. There are two creeks. We've got these on the back of the gooseneck trailer. Eric says he can cross the creek with the trailer. I say he can't, so I'm about to go find out. Well, I don't know if you call that a win or not. It just scared every cow we've got. I'm not sure what happened with the back of the trailer, but he did get across. Mr. Smooth here says he's just going to ease these posts right off the trailer. I think uh, this is about to be interesting. Let's see how, oh yeah. How'd that work out? Oh, the easier side, okay. They're bigger on the other side. They're bigger on the other side. He's starting to get nervous, y'all. Watch out for that trailer. He's debating right now what to do. Look at him. He's thinking, uh-oh, we should have gotten the bobcat. What you doing there, Hoss? Y'all stay tuned for this one. Oh boy. Look at this, look at this. frustration mounts he said we just pull in here and just push these right off the side Wouldn't be nothing to it <laughs> here we go hey biggin If you would, save those posts. Huh? Oh boy. Oh boy. Now we won't be able to move the trailer like this. nervous y'all he's gonna pull these things backwards they're gonna land right beside the trailer and then it's gonna take some maneuvering to get out of the way Let me look at your calamity first. Let me look at your calamity first. Still got one to go. Are they still on the trailer? One bundle is. We're two minutes in? Probably five. 
but we, we've got at least five scarred up posts now. That was pretty easy to do. But you scarred up the posts. That was pretty easy to do. See what I deal with every day. Good boy. I give it a C plus. You may put a little pressure on them with the tractor. This here will be our first pull we're gonna put in. So we're using eight foot posts. These are six to seven inch posts. We're using those on all of our pulls. And then for the horizontal, we are using uh, eight foot, five to six inch. So we'll measure out about eight feet on each side of this one here. Put us in another wooden post. Eric's got the post driver hooked up to the Bobcats. We're gonna start driving some of these posts in the ground. We've got our post set up. It's about seven feet, 11 inches from post to post. So Eric's gonna go ahead and drive it on in. You can't see it real good, but we made a mark on the front. It's three feet. This is how far we're driving the post. This post is wanting to kick out a little bit. I'm gonna try to hold it back with my foot a little bit while he gets it started. Sometimes you have to help get these started just a little bit. pretty dry over here you can see it's just a lot of red clay it hadn't rained in a while so what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this into this post take a chainsaw and just make it into a little bit more of a point see if it'll drive in the ground better a lot of times um, if you put just a little bit of a point on that flat end it'll go down in there a lot better it's just basically kind of bouncing around right now we're gonna see if that'll help. So we've got the got the tip of it sharpened up. So we're gonna try it again. Something. Driving the wood post take two. driven in the ground i hope all the posts don't go like that because if they do we're gonna be here a long time building a fence but in between through here we're gonna be driving in some t-post we talked to several people and most people said just drive them in by hand a bunch of other people said push them down with the loader of the tractor but as you can see 
we need a little bit more than that so we actually bought a gas powered t-post driver we're going to be trying out here in a little bit never used one before but we'll see how it works out so we got our three post set for our pool down there so we came up here this t-post right here is on our property line that's from where we had it surveyed so we're going to come in probably two feet do another pull here because the ground's coming up pretty high then we'll go on up there there's another t-post so we'll set us another pull up there and the corner is on down to the edge so we're going to try to get the rest of those wooden posts set with a single wooden post in between and then we'll go back and we can start setting some of our t-post and then start running a little bit of barbed wire we still got a long way to go we've got all of our horizontal posts driven now so this is going to be a pull here we'll be able to stretch barbed wire pull it back tight in both directions so what we do next is we take uh we're going to use a five to six inch post it's going to go from about right here it's going to come across to about right here so that's going to keep these two posts from moving too much um, that way if you pull wire this way you've got the pressure of this post here keeping these straight once we get that one put in we're going to run some wire from the corner up to the top we'll get that good and tight and that just basically helps tie everything together so that way when you start stretching that barbed wire it's not out there pulling these t-posts down you can see eric down there with the t-post driver now um, we'll show you on our next video all about that t-post driver how to use it and uh let you know if we like it or not because this is our first time trying it out for now i'm going to take this wooden post here i'm going to cut it just a little bit to make it fit in here and start getting this pull ready Once we get our post positioned where we want it, I've got the tractor holding it in place. We're gonna take these long stainless steel screws here. I'm gonna drill a little pilot hole out on my upright post to get it started. And then I'm gonna run these in there. So these will run in and actually hold up the post that the tractor is holding up now. grab another one go around over here to the other side got it set up I only grab one battery so I'm swapping back and forth I just kind of eyeball it I'm swapping over to my impact. Just like that. It's in place. Now I can move the tractor out of the way and uh, start running some of our wires and then we'll put a ratchet on the end of those wires to tighten it down. We made it in from another day of fencing. We got a lot of work done. All of our vertical posts are driven. We ended up going through almost three bundles of the six to seven inch. There are 35 in a bundle. So we've driven just over a hundred posts. 
We've gotten all those pulls completed. We've also got a guy that's been helping us out. So we've been getting some T-post work done too. In our next video, uh, we're gonna cover the T-post, our new T-post driver, how it works and if we like it or not. So we're uh, gonna try to have that video up maybe next week and then uh, we'll have our finale video and be uh, running all of our barbed wire and turning the cows out on the new ground that we've been working on for so long. But hope you've enjoyed our video. Don't forget, click that subscribe button and be sure to look out for our uh, upcoming videos when we finish up our fence. Thanks for watching and have a good one.